Hi, Cami here, and we are going to look at inserting citations and bibliographies into Google Docs. So we're going to pop over into our Google Doc here. And you can see that I'm researching tall buildings. I've already done the Eiffel Tower. When I scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see that it's put a footnote in there for me. So now we're going to, I'm just going to copy the height of the CN Tower in Toronto. And I'm going to come to the bottom right hand corner and click on the explore tool down there and then it pops up a safe explore window. So anytime that we search inside of a Google product, it is a safe place and students don't have to worry about going out onto the wild web. So I have 1815 feet. I want that in meters as well. So I'm just double checking. Wikipedia, let's see if we can have others, 118, 553. Okay, so pretty consistent with the height. So I'm going to figure that that is correct. I'm going to um, type over here is 553 meters. And then I'm going to click on the quotation marks in the corner of the website that I want. And you'll see it's put a no new little number two there. And then it has given me a footnote at the bottom of the page. So now we have our footnotes. Now I want citations. So I'm going to click on the actual website. And I'm going to take note of some of the details here. So the website is called Trip Savvy. And How Tall is the CN Tower is the title, Marilyn Campbell, and March 9th. All right, all things that I will need to know. So. Um, I'm going to come over to tools and I'm going to click citations and we'll decide that the MLA 8th edition is just fine and so I'm going to hit add citation in source and we want to pick a website and Marilyn Campbell we noted was the author we don't need a corporation the title is how tall is the CN Tower so you'll notice I don't have to worry about is this italicized or underlined or does it get quotation marks. Um, all of that is taken care of by Google Docs, tripsavvy.com. I do need the URL, so I'm going to pop over here, click Control C to copy that, pop that into here. The published date was the date was the 9th, the month was March. The year was 2019, accessed, let's say it's April 1st, April Fool's Day, just for fun. And now I'm going to say add citation source. And so you'll notice that it's popped into my citation pane over here on the right, but it also put it in alphabetical order. So that's one thing that students often don't realize is that they need alphabeticalize. There it is. I'm going to click on the word cite. And so now that has put Campbell's name behind that item. So that is uh, MLA citation. Now I'm going to come down. Let's say I'm going to do my next piece. I'm going to insert the bibliography. If we scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll notice that the footnote's there. If I click Insert Bibli Bibliography right now, it puts it right in the middle of my document, which I don't want. It's above the footnotes. We know that isn't correct. So I'm going to undo. Just wanted you to see that that's what happens. And I'm going to come to uh, the bottom of my document. I'm actually going to insert a page break. So that'll just help that footnote I will stay, or the bibliography I will stay at the bottom. I'm going to click insert bibliography and just like that bibliography is centered alphabetical ordered items hanging indent we have our bibliography.